Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy, so let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. And I am very excited about today's reading because I am using some of the most beautiful cards I've ever seen. It is the Tinseltown Tarot, and it is a deck that was gifted to me by a very, very close and beautiful best friend of mine. Um, so I really just want to use it in all of its glory for today's reading for you, Scorpio, and just see what comes through, what do you need to know. Um, this could be about relationships, it could be about your projects, your life path, your career, it just kind of depends on how it comes through, but it is a general reading, so if it resonates a certain way, take it how it does, and if it doesn't, then that's okay too. So let's just jump right in. Okay, so first card to come out is the Three of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a third party situation. Um, let's see, we have the World next, then we have the Queen of Wands. So I kind of feel like for some of you, maybe there is something in your life that really has become the center of your world right and it kind of feels like there are a lot of things that you're trying to focus on at the same time we have the seven of cups and the lovers at the bottom of the deck which is gemini so i kind of feel like that's what's going on for some of you it's like you're trying to find the perfect balance between focusing on what's near and dear to your heart and then also trying to satisfy the needs of other areas in your life right your social life your relationships your um, networks. Sometimes those two things can live on such extremes that it can feel overwhelming to manage the two. And maybe with the lovers, there is a particular relationship or connection that at this time is creating a bit of a challenge. Or, you know, maybe it's just, it's, it's changing some things in your life. We have the lovers and then behind that is the chariot, which is cancer, and then it is the three of cups. So for some of you, it is you know very clear that your relationships maybe are taking different turns. Uh, maybe your energy is just being split up into so many different directions that you may be asking yourself, okay, how am I supposed to do it all? How am I supposed to focus on this and then focus on that and meet those needs and my needs? and you know, and I feel like this happens often, right? This is not a message that you'll only hear once, but I feel like maybe right now with the things that are happening, you're starting to just feel it a little bit more, right? That pressure to divide yourself into so many different um, directions, especially for those of you that have, you know, your jobs, your relationships, maybe you're, you have a business or you have a passion or a hobby. It's like all of these things are going to take, if not the same amount of energy, very just big amounts of energy, right? At the same time. So Three of Swords, World Card, Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. And I feel like the the Queen of Wands really represents the fact that, Scorpio, you don't like to do things half-assed, right? You are going to give your 100 to every single thing that you do. So if you're giving your 100 to your work, and you're giving your 100 to your relationships, and you're giving 100 to your business, at some point, you are going to be left with zero for yourself. And I kind of feel like with that world card, some of you are about to enter a new chapter that is going to need all 100% of you. And you could be, you know, maybe starting to feel that pressure. Maybe that three of swords is even this feeling of, you know, breaking down. Maybe some of you have had a little breakdown in the recent past. Maybe you've had moments where you just want to cry because you're so overwhelmed and that's okay, right? It happens to the best of us. But I do feel that that feeling, those emotions, it is meant to bring about a sense of clarity. I feel like in those moments, we really need to be in touch with ourselves and say, okay, why am I feeling like this? Why am I overwhelmed? What can I do about it? I feel like you are pretty much on the verge of finding your solution so that you do not feel this way. And I feel like with the Seven of Cups, there are a lot of different avenues, alternatives, and options that exist here for you to kind of figure it out and not feel so, you know, split up into so many different directions. And if you are in a relationship and this is related to a connection, then whoever you're dealing with, they have to understand that, right? They have to be aware that you are doing a million things at once. Um, and it's, you know, this could be very telling for you. 
the direction that this connection goes, the direction that other relationships in your life goes, that could really be informing you, okay, I can count on this person. I know that this person understands me when I feel like that. And all of these little notes that you make in your head, they're going to serve you, right, as, um, I guess, guidelines or a path for how you are going to move forward um, in your life. And I just, I feel like there's a roadmap that's being created, Scorpio, you know, whether it's in your subconscious or your conscience, I feel like you are creating a roadmap um, or one is being created for you by the universe so that you are able to navigate all of these different situations without feeling like this. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify the world. All right, and we have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck. So three, three, three. We saw the three of swords, three of cups. Now we're seeing the three of wands. We love this deck already. Um, I kind of feel like with that three of wands, it really is speaking to the fact that things are going to be very different by next summer, right? So right now we are finishing summer of 2024. I feel like whatever is happening right now, all of these changes, all of these different areas um, that you are putting your energy in, that is all creating this one big transformation. So by next year, same time, things are going to be really different. So everything that you're doing right now is necessary. What we need to figure out is how to best handle it all, right? How to best navigate it all. And I feel like that three of wands could also represent the fact that for a lot of you, the things that are changing in your life have a lot to do with the people in it, whether it's the people you work with, right? The kind of networks that you're building, whether it's the people you are in relationships with, whether it's the people you are, you know, close to your community, all of that is a very big focus for how the next few months are going to go for you. We have the five of swords, two of wands, and the king of pentacles to further clarify that um, world card, I believe, or was it the three of swords? Now I'm not sure which card we were clarifying, but I definitely feel like um, that king of pentacles um, could represent the fact that, you know, within the changes that you're making, a lot of it could be very connected to your financial stability. Um, even, you know, whether it's the three of swords or the world card, I feel like what, you know, you're really focusing on is we're either preventing feeling overwhelmed by money. So we're trying to make sure that we have it and we have what we need to make more of it, right? And to be successful. Or we're focusing on the fact that if we are really going to go through with all of these changes in our lives, we need to make sure we're stable, right? And then similarly, with that two of wands and the five of swords, we are about to plan for all of these major changes. We have things that we need to do. We need to make sure we have all of our tools, all of our all of our supplies, right? And our mental skill sets, our coping mechanisms. We need all of that on deck if we're going to successfully move through a new chapter, right? With that world card. So then that five of swords is not feeling defeated, is how do we fight back when it all seems like too much? We need to be our our best ally, right? We cannot be our worst enemy. And maybe for some of you, what's going on is when you are overwhelmed and you're going through a lot of things and you know, you're getting prepared for all of these changes, you may become your worst enemy because maybe you are hard on yourself. Maybe you beat yourself up without even realizing it. And then all of those things could be what leave these marks. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Queen of Wands. And we have the High Priestess at the bottom of the deck, which is Pisces. So maybe some of you have Pisces placements. Maybe you're connecting to a Pisces. I kind of feel like with that Queen of Wands, your intuition, your body, your soul, it knows best, right? So your body's going to communicate with you whenever it feels something similar to how your intuition is going to communicate with you when it feels something and, you know, your soul. Your soul is going to communicate via your intuition, your body, and all of that. So I kind of feel like it knows best. So the high priestess is saying right now your intuition is playing a very big role in how you're moving through all of this chaos, so to speak, right? Listen to it. Listen to your gut. Because even the smallest things you're going to have a reaction to. And if there's anything that you should, you know, really give attention to, 
in those moments when you are asking yourself, okay, what should I do? That intuition is a big part of how to make the best choice. And I'm not really saying something that's new. I'm sure that a lot of you already know this, but I feel like right now the changes or the situations that you're in may be so big, so new and so overwhelming that you may be having trouble recognizing those gut feelings compared to a normal time in your life or when things are stable, right? Right now we are reaching stability, but we may not be as stable as we want to be just yet because we're in the middle of all of these transitions and all of these changes, right? So noticing those subtle shifts in your gut, that may be difficult right now. So I feel like the universe is saying just always listen to it. We have the Knight of Wands, Six of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So I feel like maybe this Four of Cups is about the fact that it's going to be inevitable to not overthink, right? Sometimes it's going to happen. It's normal. Just don't let that overthinking take you way off of, you know, the, the spectrum to the point where you are starting to doubt yourself away from the situations that you are moving towards, right? Listen to your intuition, but don't listen to the fears, right? Don't let the worst case scenario get you in this, you know, point where you just decide to not do anything at all, right? We don't want to go to complete paralysis, right? We want to make an analysis, but we want it to eventually lead us somewhere. So don't let that overthinking stop you in your tracks. Six of Pentacles, I feel like there's definitely going to be some sort of a balance happening very soon. But right now we just need to keep going. Um, but I definitely feel like that equal give and take that a lot of you are looking for, I feel like it is going to show up. And for those of you that feel this is more in your relationships or in your partnerships, I feel like the Knight of Wands represents that someone has the right intentions to either be with you, work with you, collaborate with you. But I feel like their strategy or their ways of doing things could be very different than what you are used to. So part of this transition, part of this transformation is also being open to different ways of perceiving other people and their actions, right? Being flexible, recognizing that you haven't seen everything just yet because every day you learn something new. And so if you already have a, a way of you know, working with others that you're used to and now comes along something new, don't automatically assume or overthink that it's bad, right? It's just new. It's just different. Maybe this approach will work. Maybe it won't, but just be open to seeing if it does first before you completely rule it out. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.